We're in the sign of Aries. Hello and welcome to my channel. What I'm picking up for this reading is that you might decide to block someone or you could be thinking about avoiding a situation. And I say this because I'm looking at this Two of Swords for your present time and the Nine of Cups. Now the Two of Swords, it tells you that your partnerships are likely to be going somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, business. Now you might need to consider the depths of your commitment to this connection or situation and whether or not you're being treated as an equal. And if you're not, it may be time to bring things back into balance. But this requires communication. Nothing changes without effort. Now that's the two of swords. It's about avoiding and blocking. You could be also ignoring some warning signs or just choosing to ignore some warning signs. Now, because it's with the Nine of Cups, which is one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards in the tarot, it's known as a wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for or dreaming about is most likely to be yours in a very brief period of time. Now, the appearance of this card, it's about happiness, good things to come, and it usually means that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. Also, if you're asking a yes or no type of question and you get the Nine of Cups, this is the most powerful indicator of yes. So, basically, coming up in June, Two of Swords, Nine of Cups. Like I said, you're blocking someone, you're either choosing to ignore some warning signs, or you're just avoiding a situation, something like that. It's, it's coming up for you. Um... But what tops, what will top this is that there's another situation or it's just a feeling that you'll have of being blessed and satisfied because the Nine of Cups is here and like I said, that's a wish card. Maybe something you wished or hoped for, it's, it's coming in. So maybe that's why you're choosing to block out anything that's a nuisance or just if you're thinking that it could be a problem for you you're just going to block it block it out and avoid it because yeah you got a lot of good things to come with this nine of cups and you could be experiencing that now or later on in the month so you're going to just choose to ignore someone or situation but let's see we'll come back to these two cards once we take a look and see what the rest of the reading is saying now if you're dealing with someone let's take a look at how they see you they see you like the six of cups and the two of cups the six of cups is about nostalgia it's looking back on how things used to be it can be but not always connected with children or childhood so it's important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start to think that the best of all the years gone best of all the years have gone by, then that can become a self fulfilling prophecy. So your person they they see you as someone that um, they're very familiar with. They could see you as a someone from their past. Yeah, an ex, someone that they used to know. Um, they can see you as someone that they had happy memories with. And I'm picking up that it's more like happy memories. Um, because, I say this because it's with the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is beautiful. It refers to romantic partnership. But that's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. This card, it says that things are likely to be going really well and you should be feeling more than usually loved. 
cared for, and content. So basically, they see you as the ideal partner. You're someone that they, because it's the Six of Cups, I'm going to say had instead of have. Uh, yeah, Six of Cups is about the past. So I'm, I'm, for now, I'm just going to use the word had. You're someone who they had, H-A-D, had happy memories with. And um, they see you as the ideal partner with the Two of Cups. There's a harmony. There was a union. There was a deep connection. And it was a very romantic love. Uh, they see you as someone that they could have proposed to with a lover's card. Or this is how they feel now. But because it's with the Six of Cups, which is about nostalgia, I'm thinking this is all past hit, past news. But this is how they see you, or maybe I should say this is how they saw you. But it could be how they see you. We need to take a look at the rest of the reading. So, why don't we move on over and take a look at how you see them. Now, you see them like the Tower and the Five of Pentacles. The tower is about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster. You gotta roll with the changes. It's likely that some people's situations that you counted on as being there for you, they may no longer be there in quite the same way. And this doesn't have to be negative. It doesn't have to be. Because we all know change, it's the nature of life. So if we try to prevent it, it's gonna be like trying to roll upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. And that's only going to be a problem if you let it be. And I say this because you'll be able to replace them with some more realistic and reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies fall apart this month. Just keep in mind dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in a reality too. So you see them enlightened by some disaster. They've, they've, they've woken up by something that came crashing down. So it's with the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is about feeling left out in the cold. Um, they're not in a happy situation. Yeah, it points to a time when life is feeling less than secure. And the important thing to remember is that there's always help available when we need it from forces seen and unseen. So, like I said, it's about feeling alone. But just know that you have the capacity to change that. Reach out. It's about feeling left out in the cold as though everyone in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering. Just realize this is really not the case. So do the best you can with what you have. But remember, the wise thing to do is if you need help, to go out and ask for it. Because the help you need, it will come. So, I'm not sure if you put somebody out, Aries. If you put your person out or something came crashing down and you're not dealing with it anymore or this is what happened in the past or it could be what your person is going through now with maybe someone else something hit the fan and it fell apart and now they're out in the cold that's how you see them so let's talk about why it's happening. So we have this Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups, it usually refers to a woman who's very helpful to you. She reminds us to bring love, compassion to work and to our lives. And that's even possible if we work in a factory with objects all day, all day rather than people. Things are probably better in your world 
when this card appears in your reading, then you're realizing. So this Queen of Cups is one of the reasons why it's happening. It's a positive outlook about a relationship. Very positive. There's a nurturing, healing, supportive energy here with this Queen of Cups. Now because it's with the King of Pentacles, um, it's about having success. Someone could want success with you or this connection or maybe you with your person. So King of Pentacles Yeah, King of Pentacles, it's an excellent card in the tarot when it comes to love questions. Someone may come along and want to absolutely sweep you right off your feet with this King of Pentacles coming up here. So, they want to secure, someone wants to secure this connection. They want to make it committed their focus towards this connection. Um, the King of Pentacles wants to bring stability. So, it's with the Queen of Cups. They want to nurture whatever happened. They want to heal it, bring support to whatever happened. Now, let's recap the reading so that we can get the complete picture. So basically, it looks like um, with the Two of Swords for the present time and the Nine of Cups for the present time, something feels like a wish come true. I'm picking up something did at one time feel like a wish come true with the Nine of Cups. And I'm, I'm using the word, I'm using past tense a lot in this reading because I'm looking at this Six of Cups. Six of Cups is about, like I said, it's about nostalgia looking back on how things used to be. So. It looks like you're going to choose to avoid and block someone who used to be a wish for you. Someone used to be the person that you fantasized about and you, you just had a lot of hope for the connection. But it looks like now you're choosing to avoid and block the situation with the Two of Swords. Because they see you like, like I said, they see you as someone they had happy memories with. And um, they were very familiar with you, very comfortable with you. They could have felt like you were someone that they knew before in a past life. Just very comfortable and happy with you. And they, they, they saw you as the Two of Cups, the ideal partner where they probably wanted to take it to the next level. The con marriage, commitment, childbirth, just an ideal relationship was there. And they they have a lot of happy memories about you, Aries. But you see them as having some type of tower moment and they're feeling left out in the cold. So maybe they'll be trying to reach out to you but it looks like you're going to avoid and block it. So it's going to feel like things are crashing down on them. Because they want, they want what they had with you. They want it back. But you avoid and you block. And now they're feeling left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, so what they want to do is they want to nurture and heal whatever it is that causes connection to come crashing down or whatever reason it is that you're avoiding and blocking them. They want to nurture and heal it with the Queen of Cups showing up in the reading. And because the King of Pentacles here, they want to have success with you again. Yeah, I'm picking up this as a past person. Now, maybe it's someone new, but I don't, know. I don't think it is because, like I said, the Six of Cups is here about nostalgia. And that's how they're seeing you. So this past person wants to come back. Yeah, the King of Pentacles. They want to come back and, act, like I said, absolutely sweep you off your feet. They want to nurture and heal whatever is broken. They want to help 
stop you from blocking and avoiding them. And they want you back, Aries. They don't like this tower moment. They don't like they don't like it at all because now they feel left out in the cold. And they remember at one point how happy you made them. And the Nine of Cups, it was a very blessed and satisfied connection. But you're not having it. You're not letting them back. You got the Two Swords in your hand. And it looks like they know you will use it or you did use it. And that's probably why the tower is coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down.